Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm Wookie and I'm here to talk about fucking... I can't. Where shall I, I go? Hello. Perhaps I just realized that there's still someone all the way at the end of the hallway, I think. I'm here to it's very to loudly talk about very loudly and quality talk about where I would... Okay, sorry everyone, I'm back. My uncle's still sleeping, but I'm going to talk anyway because god damn it, I'm going to talk about Halloween Mim and I'm back, so let's talk about her. So, um, they finally announced, as you saw the last video, as I did a literal video where I fought with Mim to try and talk to Mim, they're bringing back the Trick or Treasure. This is the first one. It's the October 16th. It's going to be here from the 17th until the 30th. And then... So that will be back. That means that, um... Elise will be back. Halloween Elise still very good. Uh, here and then the second banner right here, as you can see, is Halloween Mim. Now here's the thing: this showcase features limited time adventurers. That means that Mim has two units in the game that are limited. That means her Galafest unit is limited. Her Halloween unit that can only be got once a year because it's Halloween, limited. And also, she's insanely good. She almost- I think she replaces Gala Mim, actually. The old, we built a Mim to surpass Mim. That is how powerful Mim is. I'm gonna repeat what, um, uh, Lerp is telling me. Uh, she is basically an even more limited Gala unit. I think, um, Heli with will be on her banner too, but goddammit, I want Mim, I agree. Um, okay. So let me see, let's go down here. Uh, her skills are Charming Trick, deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead, and creates a debuff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces the defense of enemies inside of it for 15 seconds. Her Temporary Fancy increases the strength of flame to tune adventurers in the team by 20% for 15 seconds and activates Dream Boost for 15 seconds. During Dream Boost, the user's critical rate is increased by 5%. Her co-op ability is 30% crit damage. Jesus Christ. That means... That's... Wait. 30%? That's... Isn't that, that's not what fire does. Let me see, I'm pretty sure I thought like, so let's see, let's look at her. Cool, yeah, oh my god, so they changed her co-op ability too. Cause fire is supposed to be, um, oh no, no, never mind. I'm done. 30% though. Sorry, this hype is literally making me stupid. So 30% is hers. Um, her abilities are reduces susceptibility to burning by 100% when shapeshifting. Mim will transform into. She has the same fucking ability as the 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 Gallo unit. My God, her stun stun resistance is at 100%. That's the one thing she doesn't have. She doesn't have the double uh, debuff, but she also has Draconic Dream. Increases defense while shapeshifted by 100%. When the Dream Boots effect is activated, adds 20% to the modifier applying to damage when in dragon form. So that means she just like basically never leaves right like um I'm, I'm currently reading what lerp says um she might be an alternative like mim slash Larisse. yep the banner is rainbow this time too oh so that means that um because the last year's was all light this time it's water slash fire so i'll look at that a little bit more uh he thinks that it's possible that she will replace normal mim in the brand new extreme hms uh, not a 100% probability, which she can do because she has the stun resistance, so. Oh my god. Look at her. Fucking look at her. Look at this perfect. She has twin tails. She's... Mm, I mean, she's limited. She literally won't be back for another year. I'm going in. I'm gonna have to go in for this. I'm constantly looking to the side to make sure I didn't wake up my uncle. He's not awake, so we're gonna continue. Let's look at some of the other dudes real quick. We got Prank Me, come on please. Aww. It's Mar Thomas. Everyone remembers him from the event where he was a free dragon. Now he's a pullable dragon. He has Hocus Pocus, restores HP to all allies, creates a buff zone, and lasts for 10 seconds, increases skill damage or adventures. Hmm. That's not bad. He's 30% uh, HP to water, and he is skill haste 35%. Again, I think he's better for, um, better for, what's the word? 
he's better he's made for i think a healer but it's unfortunate that they have no healers like um water is actually kind of in a weird place because they need healers and the other units that i wanted to talk about but are not here is the fact that they have a halloween I um, how Lowen is doing. Uh, let me see if i can find the trailer this halloween Lowen. oh he's a healing unit for fire i mean fire doesn't really need it uh i'd say uh that's a personal opinion thing but whatever and then we have a halloween odetta she is the water again water does need more units but i'm not sure if I she's really going to be the unit to for it room, uh, a he is mind. newly added dragon i guess this will show uh, halloween 2 starts from october 17th so that means i don't know what this event means and i think that hmm, what does it mean all right so i'm done sorry about that love. we're away from that now um yeah I'm going to be pulling like great. Mega Man is literally a month away, and I'm going to I'm going to risk it all for Halloween, man. I'm going to go balls deep. You have no idea how crazy I'm about to go for this girl. So that's today's. Vi that's not even today's video. This is an extra video I've recorded super late at night. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice night. Enjoy your day, and I will see you next time I record for the regular videos. Goodbye.